everyone welcome back to the series of investigations that we do in a diabetes clinic over the last few weeks i have been talking to you about various tests that we do for people with diabetes and why we do these tests today i'm going to talk about the importance of the diabetic foot many of you would have known or would have heard of somebody who had a very bad diabetic foot infection and that led to the leg being cut off and amputation and so on you know what these are eminently avoidable and preventable and every time i hear that somebody's leg has been amputated i feel guilty that we as doctors have not done what we should have done in fact it is so easy to prevent all the complication diabetes including diabetic foot provided number 1 of course you keep your sugars under good control but more importantly once a year at least a thorough examination of the diabetic foot must be done in many clinics many hospitals many doctors don't even bother to look at the feet of diabetic patients and even the patients will say i am in a hurry i don't have time for all that that's a big mistake at least once a year you must take off your socks and your shoes or your chappal lie down and have the complete foot examination done so we look at your feet whether there are any ulcers we'll see whether the blood circulation is okay whether the nerves are okay we use very simple instruments like a tuning fork or even feeling your pulses in your feet will tell us whether the blood circulation is okay just by looking at the temperature whether it is cold or hot we can make out whether the blood circulation is good whether there is any infection in the feet so many things can be found out just by looking at your feet or just touching your feet and of course there are special tests that we do for example there is one test called as biothesiometry now we'll make you lie down and then there is an instrument which will begin to vibrate and if you are able to feel that vibration it is normal but suppose even after increasing the vibration we are not, you are not able to feel it at all it means that you have loss of sensation in your feet and this is a danger sign because it means that tomorrow if you stamp something a sharp object a nail or something a thorn you will not even know about it because your foot is not having any sensation so we will be able to warn you and then tell you that you should always wear footwear then you will be more careful and this can be prevented and even more serious affection of the foot is what we call as blood circulation affection or peripheral vascular disease if you have peripheral vascular disease the blood circulation to your leg is affected then the feet begin to pain when you walk so you'll have to stop after walking for some time but that is in late stages if you want to pick up whether the blood circulation is reduced or not of course using our fingers and feeling your pulse we can find out but a much more elegant and easier way to pick it out is what is called as the doppler test so if you keep a doppler probe on your leg by hearing the sound and by looking at the blood vessel flow and also by looking at the pressure in your feet we can say whether the blood circulation to your feet are okay or not now let us assume that the nerves are somewhat affected or the blood circulation is a little bit affected what can we do about it well there are medicines for that we can give you to improve your nerve function and to improve your blood circulation and if the blood circulation is really blocked let's say 50% 80% of the blood is flow is blocked then by doing an angiogram and finding out where the block is we'll be able to relieve the block just like in the heart we relieve the blocks we can do that and then you can prevent gangrene from setting in so once a year please remember that when you come for the diabetic checkup number 1 your foot must be examined and number 2 we must do the doppler test and the biothesiometry test to find out whether the nerves and the blood circulation in your feet are okay this can go a long way in preventing foot ulcers and in preventing cellulitis or infections from coming in your feet and finally we also have many different specialized footwear by using these footwear we can reduce the pressure under your foot and this will help to prevent calluses corns 
ulcers from forming. So next time you come to us, you ask us about the special footwear and we may be able to give you ready-made footwear or we may be able to design special footwear for you so that your feet are totally protected. So thank you for watching and in the subsequent videos, we'll talk to you more about how you can have a long and healthy life despite diabetes. Thank you.